While many operators and big companies are still introducing the most talk about 5G technology and more than half of the world is yet to have 4G, China is already on its way to a more advanced network technology. The country has already started testing the 6th generation technology from space using high frequency terahertz spectrum. Hi everyone, how's it going? Richard Aguilar here again and I'm back to give you another awesome video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and get notified to keep you updated with what's new in here. As to prove that they are very serious when it comes to actively developing the new 6th generation technology, China sent the world's first 6G experimental satellite into space. This 6G satellite was among the three Chinese satellites successfully launched into orbit along with 10 commercial remote sensing satellites developed by Argentinian company Cytologic. This experimental 6G satellite will verify the terahertz communication technology in space, which is truly a breakthrough in space communication system according to report. Now, if we are going to compare 5G with 6G, both of these technologies take advantage of higher frequencies on the wireless spectrum to transmit more data faster. However, 5G occupies broadband frequencies at sub 6 GHz and above 24.25 GHz called low band and high band frequencies respectively. On the other hand, according to report, 6G will be able to use higher frequencies than 5G networks and provide substantially higher capacity and much lower latency. 6G network will operate at 95 GHz to 3 terahertz. At those wavelengths, 6G will deliver speeds more than 100 times faster than 5G. So in simple words, 6G is believed to be smarter, faster and more efficient than 5G. It promises mobile data speeds that are way way faster and better than 5G network currently available in limited countries. As of now, there are predictions that 6G will be rolled out in around 2030 when 5G is no longer enough to sustain our needs. Whatever the 6th generation of wireless networks becomes, there is a global race to develop and patent the technologies that will form the new standards in years to come. So let's hope for the best. And that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this short video. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.